So after you finished with your playing career, you moved on to to coaching, and you completed your A license, I think, in two thousand fourteen fifteen. And the first uh, club that you actually coached was in my hometown, Bangalore, uh, with uh, South United Club. So can you tell me uh, what 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 the experience was like to go from a player to a coach in that moment? Yeah, uh, actually, uh, you know, to become a coach is like uh, it's not just happened because uh, during my you know playing time, um, you know, end of my career, I I was a I was captain Mountain Sporting and uh, you know that time I I developed myself as a the leadership quality. Okay, then um, uh, that uh, made me to you know to think uh, after my playing career what what you will become. So then. Uh, so in that time, I used to visit uh, Tata Football Academy uh, often. So uh, from there, uh, I sta- I I was uh, the that time the Tata Football Academy is the only academy who you know produce players for the country. Mm-hmm. Most of the players uh, you know uh, from Tata Football Academy. So I wanted to uh, set up a similar academy uh, in our state, actually Tamil Nadu. So I was dreaming to have a okay. Why don't we, you know, uh, set up an academy like Tata Football Academy? I don't know what to do, but uh, I was having a you know a dream of uh, doing similar academy like Tata Football Academy. And after uh, done my C license in Calcutta, I came to Chennai and I start uh, finding, you know, uh, meeting people. Um, um, I, I was telling about the uh, the value of uh, grass develop grassroot development and uh, you know uh, to to develop uh, our own grown players uh, but uh, people are not shown much interest about you know grassroot development and uh, the academies because uh, you know uh, tamil nadu is a, a cricket oriented state and uh, uh, um, and uh, political politics and uh, cinema is uh, you know number one thing for the people but um, uh, the rest of the sport are not recognized uh, properly uh, then uh, i moved to uh, villages i start uh, developing the children who are not getting exposure um, from there i start my noble football academy so from there i moved to kgf before i joined uh, south united uh, oh. uh, so there is a yeah that year i developed myself as a coach uh, at that time i have done only b license mm, so i made a team and uh, uh, a very young team i made and uh, we have won the bangalore league uh, that year uh, was uh, uh, was a memorable uh, year for me as a as my coach year because uh, i got an uh, you know bangalore uh, writers uh, uh, you know award best coach award and all in that year uh, it was uh, in, uh, uh, that year i got a confidence yes i can coach uh, because um, uh, throughout the year i learned myself what all the you know uh, things i have to do to become a good good coach so i i learn myself by doing mistakes doing you know trainings uh, then i got an offer of offer for uh, south, south united the new club uh, who have uh, um I just uh, uh, uh organized in in, in in bangalore football league so i moved to south united it was a big challenge for me to you know get to the second division league and uh, you know, uh, you know uh, developing a team a uh, professional side uh, it, it was a big challenge but uh, some of we managed we managed and uh, we had a, a decent result in that year a lot of players say uh, 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 I I managed a lot of players uh, in the age group of uh, 20, uh, 19 to 26 between, and uh, then I moved to Chennai again. Uh, that uh, you when you then uh, during that uh, South United I finished my eighth license. Uh, then I got an offer to uh, from Delhi Dynamos to become a assistant coach. 